it has a lot of imitators around the world and that's just because when it comes to sparkling wine well there's no place quite like champagne they've been perfecting the art of making fine bubbly for over 400 years and this is where you'll find the great names of Krug, Dom Perignon, Roderer, and many, many others. It covers 32,000 hectares of vineyards, over 19,000 individual growers spread across three major subregions, and below ground, there's over 400 kilometers of underground cellars. One of the reasons why it's so good here is because it's not easy and vines have to struggle and you have to plant the right grape varieties because you're on the cusp of viticultural possibilities. It's cold here, grapes don't ripen well and so they choose Pinot Noir for backbone, richness and structure, Chardonnay for its elegance and freshness and Pinot Meunier for its fruitiness and liveliness and as is the case with most champagnes when you blend them all together you really produce something magnificent. One of the key reasons why Champagne makes by far and away the finest sparkling wine in the world is because of these incredible chalky soils. They're, they're massive, solid. You could actually write on the blackboard with them. They're incredibly well drained. The vine roots plunge down sometimes 30, 40 feet into the subsoil. They reflect light onto the vine. You could dig tunnels and caves out of them. It's a hallmark of the Champagne terroir. There's a lot of regulation in the region to ensure the highest quality standards. For example, it's the law that you have to pick the grapes by hand. Machines simply aren't allowed. This enables the winemakers to carefully select only the very best bunches, which are then quickly rushed to the press house, and you're not allowed to transport them more than a few kilometers to ensure maximum freshness. This is a, a small little cluster of Chardonnay grapes and they are some of the most delicious I've ever tasted. Absolutely spectacular citrusy, apple-y flavors. And it's the Chardonnay that gives, gives the freshness and the finesse elegance to the wines. And when they are bottled all by themselves, in what they call a Blanc de Blanc, well, they produce, at least for me, the very finest of all champagnes. <laughs>